Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here, Real Beautiful Beauty. Gonna be doing a product review. Okay, let's get started. This is an eye cream. I've been actually eyeballing this for mm, quite a few months now, for a while now. I've been thinking about buying it, getting it, but I've just had so many other products in my beauty room and uh, so many other products in my stash that um, it took me a little hot minute to get around to it. So anyhow, I bought this at Target.com and I went ahead and bought two of these because I love eye cream. I'm a fiend for eye cream. I live for eye cream. Okay, I love skincare. I love face care and all that good fun, you know, stuff that I really enjoy. It's therapeutic. It's my therapy. It's my love. It's my passion. It's my life. But I love eye cream more. So if I were going to have to choose actually between my eye, mo eye moisturizers and my facial moisturizers, I think I would go for my eye creams because it's just, I don't know, around the eye area is a lot more important to me. I have very dry, sensitive skin. Around my eyes is extremely sensitive as well. I can get burning, stinging, you know, itching sensation around my eyes, um, sensitive skin, all that. If, if I use a product that my skin does not fully agree with, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so I bought two jars of this stuff. This is the Jeffrey James. This is the Jeffrey James. This is the Botanicals Eye Cream. It's cruelty free it's not test on animals which i really like the fact of that but i had anticipated that i'd really love this product so based on me thinking i'm gonna love something you guys know the drill you know what i do i add two to the cart instead of one i will buy two sometimes i will even buy more than that but anyhow this time i bought two jars mm. okay guys take a big drink sinus problems okay let me show you what it looks like Okay, this is what it looks like. It's a really, um, it is very thick. It's very rich. It's extremely creamy. I just don't care for the formula much. Uh, first off, what happens, I find it a little too strong for my skin, uh, possibly even, even too irritating for my skin. When I first apply it, upon initial application, when I first apply it about two or three minutes uh, on into it, my skin will feel real moisturized around my eyes. My eyes will feel real nice. And then I will get a little bit of a cooling sensation and then a little bit of a burning sensation. And then I get that tightness, that tightening, uplifting sensation, which I, I you know, understand a lot of eye creams are meant to do that, you know, to, uh, you know, pucker the skin up, tighten it up. Um, yeah, just tighten up around the eye area, which is fine. And that sensation doesn't bother me, that tightening or slight pulling feeling and sensation that's okay too but it just had way too much burn of the skin and uh, it didn't work for me it just really did not work for me so i'm probably i'm pro i'm i don't know you know what i mean uh yeah i do know well really i say i don't know but i do know don't you hate when people do that i don't know i don't know but you do know uh probably gonna have to either maybe return the other unopened jar or pass it on to a friend or something like that and the jar here that I've actually used, uh, maybe pass it on to the family member and see if they like it or if they get a different skin effect than I get from it. But that's just what happened to me. It had a, you know, it's the emolliency is fine. The thickness is fine. The moisturization properties of it's fine. But I started getting too much um, irritation, redness. I got a lot of redness under my eyes. Too much redness, too much tightness feeling. Uh, the feeling was okay, but just the effect of my skin. My skin was real red, and it did make my under my eyes very itchy. And I had the, you know, the feeling like I wanted to start rubbing my eyes and scratching underneath my eyes, and and I wanted to start pulling and tugging on my eyes, which is the whole part and the whole reason to use eye cream is because you don't want to have to, um, you know, just rag your eyes out. And you don't want to pull on them and tug on them all day and uh, wipe at them, you know, all day. It was like something had given me allergy eyes, you know what I mean? So it was not a good effect. I liked the, the smell of it. The smell was okay. It seemed to dissipate upon application after wearing it two, three minutes, the smell would go away. So the smell, you know, was not really a problem for me with this product, even though, you know, I have a scent sensitivity issue and uh, some smells bother me, but this smell did not bother me. And I liked the, you know, texture of it per se. You know, the thickness, how it would apply, 
but just it, it's just too irritating for around my eyes you guys it's just too much and I was hoping for a milder formula you know I thought I had heard some really okay things about this product per se so I was really hopeful for something that would be you know less irritating around my eyes you know less redness less tightness less skin irritation you know whatever you know what I mean um, didn't work for me what can I say now if you have totally normal skin type if your skin is very normal just a normal it's normal basic normal you know what I'm talking about skin type this product will probably work well for you me dry sensitive skin very sensitive skin around my eyes is extremely sensitive skin uh, you guys know me you know like mascara and eyeliner uh, I have to go really carefully with what brands I use because my eyes are very sensitive you know what I mean and uh, yeah that's that's how it is it is what it is you guys I hope you enjoyed take care much love I love each and every one of you be sure to give me a big huge thumbs up and uh, yeah so the uh, Jeffrey James Botanicals the eye cream is just not working for me you guys I was hopeful but nah didn't do it much love take care bye beauties